Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dynasty Reloaded coming back at you guys once again. And this one, this plugin is going to be a very simple, very short plugin tutorial. I wanted to get a fast one out there just so I could get back on to Minecraft so I can get my 1,000 kills. So, first you want to ex extend the Java plugin, then implement listener, implement listener, and listener is just it's a actual part of Java. I'll tell you about that later. I found a definition for it somewhere, but I didn't really care to memorize it. I know what it does pretty much. But the only reason we're using it on here is for the actual input to where it'll say is being enabled. So on enable, I'm gonna show you the whole thing just because it's short. And then right here you can do get server. Dot get plugin manager. Dot register events. And then this comma this. So what this is pretty much doing, I don't know if I've ever really explained this. If you're adding on another page that implements listener with it, so Say I'm using another page for an on command or for making classes on a different page. You would put new and then the page, which for some reason it canceled that. So it would be like new and then the name of the page that you want to implement it on or implement into this. But since we're not doing that, we don't have to worry about it. And so now you want to make an at event. handler and you will have to import event handler I think nope it's because we haven't made anything so 20 it to, or one has to define it so public void on player interact and you want to rename in here player interact event as just event and you can go ahead and open up that um, command or statement and you want to make an if statement inside saying it or no actually first let's define player so player player equals event dot get player and now we can actually make the if statement but you want first off you want to import player player so now if player dot get item in hand dot get type and then after you get the type you want to see if it's <coughs> equal and since it's in an if statement you got to put two equals material dot and we're going to make it efficient right? just for the heck of it you can make it a bow, you can make it whatever you want, but for just to take a tutorial, we're gonna make it efficient. Right? Actually, let's make it something else. Let's make it. Um, if you have a stick. Okay, so stick. Here we go. So if you have a stick, you want to make it so where player dot get world dot strike lightning and inside strike lightning you want to put player dot get target block inside there you want to put null and we're going to make the distance for the argument 200 that way you can only strike something 200 blocks away so whatever you're aiming at doesn't matter first thing in between you and the 200 blocks so after you get that you can get the location and I forgot the A I was like oh location and now you're done that's all it is for this tutorial like I said it was a short tutorial and now you can import event handler and you want to make a suppression warning right here just to get rid of that. And you're done. So 
Now, if we make the plugin file, I did lightning rod. Let's do lightning stick just to change it. Um, so export jar file. Make sure you got all the files selected. I have a lightning dot jar. End it. So now we can reload. Reload complete. Disconnect multiplayer. Localhost. See, it doesn't work for fishing rod anymore because I changed it. But if I do get a stick, I can strike lightning. So it's like a magical stick now. And this lightning is real. I can light stuff on fire with it. Alright, that's a cool effect. Um, I think that's just for uh, creepers. Doesn't usually put boxes around things, so it must be just creepers. Because they're lucky. <laughs> yep, see? So you can light stuff on fire with it. It's a cool admin thing. <clears throat> if you're like an admin and you're like tired of people screwing out with your server, or if they're like trolling people on like a PvP server, just go around. You can light them on fire to kill them and like teach them a lesson. So it's like a punishment rod. Because it does kill, it is fully effective. And I can't light myself on fire. I wish I could. But in the next tutorial, I will either show how to make fireworks, because those aren't too hard. Or I will show you guys how to do like an ignite thing where you can ignite yourself on fire. And it likes, it looks pretty cool actually. So. Anyways, if you guys like these tutorials, please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. It does help out a lot. And later.